Hi people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's still the Big Brother Niger 2023 um, reunion of the level of season. And I'm here to give you my two cents as usual on every episode. So today I'll be giving my two cents on episode three. Episode three is explosive. You think you are. I think I'm actually dumb. At least I'm not having sex with this person who's been like disrupting my lifestyle. Okay, I was anticipating drama, but I didn't think he was going to come this early. Like, it was super, super explosive, and you would agree with me that it was so. So, uh, there was a situation, or there is a situation between a love triangle involving. Um, Chichi, Doyen, and Deji. And I will also add that Deji refused to come for the reunion. Yes, he refused because he said this himself that it was a deliberate attempt. Not showing up was a deliberate attempt because he didn't want drama. And Ibuka and the rest of us watching felt that he was running away from discussing the Deji, Doyen, and Chichi situation. But when um, Ibuka reached out to him, he had a few things to say about that. Whatever it was that was happening between the three of them. Okay, so he alleged that, or he said that, not like he alleged, he said that um, Doing was disrespectful to him a couple of times, so there was most likely not going to be a relationship between the two of them. And Doing explained that her actions may have been misconstrued and therefore interpreted as disrespect, but she, meant, she did not mean that way because fans had again accused her a lot of times that she was throwing herself very cheaply at Deji. And she affirmed that Deji was a, a good looking guy. I mean, everybody says that the guy is good looking. I mean, who wouldn't want a good looking guy, but it wasn't as people felt it was. And then to um, Chichi, now this is where it got, things got really crazy. To my hotel, I'm yeah. like, I'm 10, 11, 12, like a milk prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I am not telling lies on him. If I'm lying, when you don't see coming over to my house every night, so that you move to my house every night, you're not living with me, like literally coming every night. When it got to uh, the supposed relationship between Chi Chi and Deji, um, Chi Chi said that she liked him and he always gave her the assurance that. They were in a relationship sort of but then he goes behind her back to tell people that he's not in a relationship with her and he doesn't want to have anything to do with her she's blah blah blah, blah. she's this and she's that and then when he, he he comes to her her house or her room her hotel room every night i'm like are you a cockroach why are you always moving at night like he doesn't want to be seen with her during the day he sneaks into her room every night and then leaves around 4 a.m 5 a.m i never heard her say he comes during the day he only comes to her place at night and then leaves when it's still very dark so that he cannot be seen and the, you know, the thing about people who love genuinely is that they are always the last to notice that people are treating them very poorly. Now, the way Deji was treating her and talking about her behind her back, every other person, Bella, Doreen, and a couple of other housemates, noticed that he did not love her at all. How she was unable, how she, Chichi, was unable to see it was crazy. Like, Bella was like, okay. When she actually went to her, she kept asking her, like, do you think that Deji loves you? And she'll say, yes, he tells me he loves me. And in my head, I'm like, okay, he tells you he loves you. Does he show through his actions that he loves you as well? Because then talk is cheap. If your actions cannot sync with your, uh, your words, then <laughs> it's nothing as far as I'm concerned. If there is no genuineness, no authenticity in your actions, and especially your professional love, then it's nothing. Talk is cheap. So that's why people like talk cheaply and very carelessly. So she fell for the whole Deji thing, telling her that he cares about her and she wasn't paying attention to how she was being treated by him. And a couple of times when she tried to really speak about how he was treating her, he always made her feel like there was an issue with her. He talked over her, talked on her, till she started feeling that something was wrong with her. I started buying the idea, I think I have a problem because of the way I've been treated, the way I was manipulated to think I had a problem. You will do something bad to me after, and when we come here, I'm telling you, DJ, I feel like you treat me like this. Joshi will tell me I'm overthinking it. You, are, you need a therapy. Ebuka, I bought that idea. I started feeling like I, I needed a therapy. Now, this really got me in my feelings. I was really upset because we have seen this kind of behavior before. They make you feel like you depend on them emotionally. They make you feel the worst. So there were a whole lot of things she said that they did to her, but she did not even try to deny even one. 
and there's no way that he could have denied it because he actually did them. He was glaring. Every other person could see. So I'm sure if he had even tried denying it, a lot of persons would have spoken in her defense that he actually did it. So I'm sure that's why he did not even bother denying some of them. And then you go to the point where they started abusing themselves. Shut up! I'm not done. Shut up! Don't 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 interrupt me. Please, I'm trying to keep my food because if I can't expose you, you give so many nasty things I don't care about anymore. Okay. You don't have anything to admire. Don't say it. Just platform is just one thing. Don't shut up. If you see that stuff, you're taking all the money, easy to for yourself, so you're making more than I do. Yes. Shut up! But when you are opening your sticky mouth to tell other housemates, few things about me. You did not know you were spoiling your rootless, rootless father. I thought you said Big Brother Nigeria was not a big thing for you. Uh, but you literally have no money. money in your pocket, bro. So shut up, fuck. Shut up, fuck. Just shut up. Just shut up. Let, 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 me, let me finish. Deji, let me finish. You know, it was really crazy like basically this uh, episode 3 was centered on chi chi and deji's situationship or should i call it supposed relationship a relationship that only existed in chi chi's head and in her work but never for one day existed in deji's head but deji did say at some point that he was beginning to feel something for her which i think is a lie he came to my room that night and he was like you want to use me to chase clouds you know this guy came he knows how to pop me he knows how to talk to me he knows how to provoke me then he would talk to me to a phone i was like you know deji you know what a is is enough come my room you're a stupid boy you were a boy and you're not a man he brought up his phone when i was triggered provoke and this boy started recording me just to when i was triggered just to have a record of me so why you claim your love so he was just saying that one because from what she explained or from, what, from whatever happened like he has no regard whatsoever for her and if you love somebody you would not treat them the way he treats her i'm not I'm not supporting anybody but it is just you know it is just what it is when he came back well, he came to my hotel room we had like three hours um conversation and i told him he asked me yeah he asked me doctor are you just gonna move on right now i'm like what do you expect from me because at that time, I want to just cry it out. I want to just be that strong girl and just move on. Because I'm tired of being in that situation. Yeah, so then we had a long talk, the whole thing, and we slept over again. Ah! Oh. Then we went to SA. <laughs> so there was a battle of words, and that's what episode 3 was about. You would love to watch.